Hello fellow hobbyists, I'm Jason and I'm going to show you how to paint Orc Boys right here on Level Up Hobbies. Let's get painting. Alright, well today we are painting up a Blood Axe Boy and to start off I primed him black using some Steinal Res Black Surface Primer. You can use your black primer of choice. And then now I'm going to lay down some uh, a nice smooth base coat with uh, my airbrush using some gray sear and I'm putting on this lighter coat so the colors that I'm about to apply will uh, they'll shine a little bit more brighter a little bit more vibrantly through it than they will over the black so let's go ahead and get this down and we will move on to some colors And first of all, I jump right into painting the base. So I'm just dropping down a medium brown here, and this will be the, the main color of the base. I'll apply some washes and highlights later, but I want to get this down before I apply any other colors to the model itself. All right, and now on to the thing that makes an orc an orc, and that's their, well, Besides their warlike qualities, they're green skin. So for this, we are using some uh, Citadel's Elysian Green. It's a, a great green gold. In my opinion, it uh, provides a, uh, a great base coat for um, an orc skin. And you can work this up a number of ways, uh, and you'll see what I do in just a bit. And now it's on to the pants. And for this I'm using some uh, Citadel Steel Legion Drab. And just covering the pants, I just want a nice, uh, similar to the base, just a nice medium brown. And this has some really good coverage. And for the shirt, I'm grabbing some contrast paint. We're gonna use some Militarum Green. And for his clothes, I'm really keeping him uh, a very kind of drab, um, kind of fatigue color. I mean, if you know anything about blood axes, you know, they love modeling themselves after the Imperium's, uh, you know, like uh, Imperial Guard and stuff. So um, I figure any color that can be used as fatigue, you can use for your blood axes. Don't feel limited to... Um, a drab palette like this. Uh, experiment, play, and find what you like. And now I grab some black and I start painting in his belts and pouches. And now that I'm looking at it, he doesn't have any pouches, but if he did, those would also be black, just like the belts that I'm painting here. And now I'm going to drop in some Flesh Terror's Red Contrast uh, paint uh, on a, a couple points on the model. The, the gun casing here, part of his belt, and his glyph plate on the back. Now these uh, pops of color will help draw the eye from uh, you know one point to another. And it, it really helps to break up that, uh, that color scheme of the fatigues that he's wearing. All right, now we want to add some shade to those to that skin tone. And for that, I am using some Orc Flesh Contrast Paint. And I've thinned this uh, about one-to-one -one with Contrast Medium. And I'm just going to slop this all over the, the skin and then, uh, you know, kind of soak up anything that's left on the, on the flat surfaces. Hopefully, I'll get this, this nice green deep green uh, recesses like within the skin and that's what I'm looking for here. Now uh, don't be afraid to experiment with other contrast paints and shades and whatever you want. Um, uh, there's really a lot of things you can do with this. It's just playing around, finding what you like, and then uh, you know moving forward with it.
And here we have him compared to the snake bite boy that I did. You can see that uh, the shades of green that I used are a little different. On the snake bite, I used a 50 50 militarum and orc flesh uh, contrast and then thinned with uh, contrast medium. And it adds a nice uh, different shade and it's nice to have variations in your skin tones throughout your army. Now here I'm moving on to painting in all of the metallic pieces and for this I use some lead belcher. Keeping it simple, uh, keeping it quick. All right, I start working that Elysian green uh, base coat back into the, uh, the flesh color here. And I just thin it out and just start glazing it over the you know, higher edges on uh, the face and uh, the upper arms. Um, the orc flesh contrast changed the initial color enough that going back to this base color uh, makes for a really nice highlight. And now we move on to the Wild Rider Red, start adding some highlights to this gun casing and the uh, other panels. And for this, I'm gonna put some nicks and dings just throughout the, uh, the surfaces of, uh, uh, the flat surfaces on these pieces. Uh, the orcs are, you know, they're just as likely to use it as a club as they are as, you know, a, a firearm. So make it look like it. And now it's time to grab that Agrax Earth Shade and just start slopping it all over the model here. Uh, we're gonna avoid the skin tones, but everything else, the clothes, the red panels, the base, um, everything is getting a coat of this, you know, just to kind of homogenize it and bring it all together. So uh, go ahead and paint this on and just uh, soak up anything that starts to pool so you don't have these large like water marks on your model, but other than that, yeah, get it all, get it all covered. Now I go in with some Ushabti bone and I uh, bring the teeth to life here. Uh, just add some color to them Just adding some color to them like really just does wonders And then when I get that on there I take some wraith bone and brighten them up a little bit more and the teeth, you know, they turn out looking great um, I decided to add a little bit more highlighting to the the face here So I go back to that Elysian green mix in just a tad bit of wraith bone and Add some additional highlights right here on the face I want to add a little bit of contrast here to the face, so I grab some Shaiish purple and I just glaze it over the lower lip area. And I'll do this very thinly and just build it up gradually so I have some uh, nice color variation right there on the lips. I finish up some details here on the face uh, with some uh, volipus pink. I glaze that into the, uh, he's got a scar running running right down his lip and into his chin. So I glaze some volipus pink into that. And then I, uh, I tidy up the gun and uh, paint in this skull glyph here on it with some uh, Corax white. Um, just finalize some small details right there. Now I grab the black and I paint the rim of the base and uh, finish up the model here. 
when this is dry, I'm going to give the entire model uh, some spray it down with some Vallejo's matte varnish through uh, the airbrush, and the model will be done. And there you have it, a finished Blood Axe Boy. Um, this would look great uh, with a mob of about 30 of them, you know, charging across the board. And the style that I used here, um, it's pretty quick, pretty simple. There's not a lot of detail work to it, so you could easily uh, get a mob of these done and into a game. Um, now this color scheme, I modeled it off of the uh, Kill Team Octarius Orcs and I think it works really, really well with the Blood Axes. But, like I said earlier, play around with uh, the colors because, I mean, you can get fatigues in pretty much anything and if you can do it well, I think it would look great in an Orc Army. Well, that's going to be it for today on this video here. Uh, thanks for watching me watching as I painted up this blood axe boy. Hopefully you can use some of the methods that I used in this uh, or techniques and uh, get some inspiration from them for your own orc armies or use it for any type of army. I mean really uh, uh, paints paint. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you put it on. So uh, thanks again guys. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for joining me here today on Level Up Hobbies as I painted up this orc boy. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I publish new videos. Thanks again, and remember, build, paint, and play tabletop games. Later.